Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, in this video, I am going to be showing you how to change out the um, lenses on your Dio Dynamics SS3 fog lights. Um, this video is not specific to the Crosstrek platform as you can use these uh, fog lights on pretty much uh, any Subaru, uh, Toyota, you name it. Um, so here are the new fog light lenses. Um, so what I'm gonna be doing is jacking up the car, taking off the um, splash guard trim, and then we're gonna unhook the fog light, pull it off, swap the lens, and I will show you the whole process. So I'm gonna put the camera on a tripod and um, time lapse it, and I'll show you when we pull the fog light out. Also, uh, just a quick note, on the channel already, I do have a install video for the Diodynamics SS3 fogs onto the Crosstrek platform. So uh, if you do wanna go watch that video first, please do, that'll be linked down in the description below. Um, it's going to be the same process, but uh, this one is just me going to be uh, changing the lenses. So I'll throw it up on a tripod and get back to it. Alrighty guys, the car is lifted up in the front. The rear wheels have been chalked. Um, what I've been really like doing right uh, recently, thanks to Willis Doe, um, I've been putting the jack stand uh, kind of on where the control arm brace bolts the subframe. Um, that's been a really nice spot, especially when I lift from the pinch weld. Um, my jack is quite big, so it's not super easy to throw a jack in there as well. So yeah, uh, that's a nice place. When I do the rear, I go from the subframe and then do the pinch welds, so that's a bit easier. Anyways, um, I'm going to put the camera up and um, take off the clips uh, under the splash guard, pull out the fogs, and I'll kind of show you the process uh, again. Cheers. Alrighty guys, I am just under the car now showing you um, what it looks like. So those, that's the portion of the under tray that you're going to need to pull off to get towards your fog lights. Um, if you do have a normal suspension cross check or you're lifted, you most likely do not have to lift your car up to get under here, but mine is uh, decently low. So uh, to get like good clearance, just to put my head under there, um, I do have to lift it up. Anyways, what you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver and just a little bin. Um, so you can put your clips in and uh, it's pretty straightforward. I will throw the camera back up on the tripod and film it for you guys. All right guys, um, since I hadn't done this in a little while, I did forget one piece. So what you're gonna need is a 10 mil socket as well to um, take off the bolt that um, attaches the splash guard just up um, towards the frame rail a little bit. Anyways, we're gonna get back under here. The guarding has been pulled off. Um, there's the fog light harness right there. I'm gonna unplug it. And I probably will also pop off the fog bezel up here and uh, it'll just help me get towards the screws to pop it out. So I'll show you that. Alrighty guys, so the uh, diode SS3 fog is pulled out of the car. It's a very, very simple install um, and removing the, that product. Um, so what you are gonna need to pull it out is the same 10 mil socket and just a screwdriver. So um, uh, on the back side here, there's that 10 mil bolt, you just unscrew it. And then there's another um, little clip here. I just like to push it through with a flathead screwdriver and then you can just pop it out and make sure to disconnect the harness but uh, very very straightforward um, now I am going to replace the lens on it so I will show you how to do that 
Alrighty, so um, I am about to change the lens on the diode SS3. Here are the new uh, clear lenses that are going to go on it. Um, the reason why I wanted to change from yellow, uh, yellow looks fantastic, it's really that rally look for Subarus, but um, being a decently heavily modified car uh, in downtown Toronto and also where I go to school, I really don't want a lot of unwanted uh, attention, so really bright lights. Um, are fantastic, but I think if I've got um, non-OEM looking uh, bright fog lights, I think that's a bit of a cop magnet, at least for what I'm running. Uh, maybe if you know your car was more styled towards off-road, uh, that might be looked at differently, but just for peace of mind for me, um, I wanted to switch these lenses out to uh, white, so you couldn't really tell that they were uh, modified. Uh, as for my head headlights, they look very OEM plus, so unless you really know what you're looking for, uh, they don't look like modified headlights um, to some extent. So anyways, um, to remove the lenses from the fogs, there is four screws around the bezel that holds this bezel on. Um, now forgive me, these Allen keys that you're going to use to pull off the screws I cannot remember what these are called. Um, they almost look like a Torx bit. Um, I can't remember if they're SAE or metric, but these were from a Husky Allen key set. Um, and they are definitely like a weird little star pattern, but um, I'll look into those for you guys and put a link in the description as to what these are. It doesn't have any sizing on it, so uh, I'm not sure as per the size, but I have a whole bunch of them, so I was lucky to have them in my garage. Anyways, um, you just take the four screws out and um, we'll pop off the bezel and put the new lens in, so I'll show you how to do that. guys so the uh, bezel for the fog light has been pulled off um, I just want to give a huge shout out to Diodynamics uh, they make some incredible products I love all the stuff that I have in my retrofitted headlights and these are uh, nothing short but fantastic very robust very rugged um, they definitely are built with quality and they put a lot of time effort in r and into their products so huge shout out to them and uh, definitely look forward to doing some more stuff with them in the future um, Anyways, I uh, pulled off the uh, bezel. I'm just going to swap the actual lens out and then I'm just going to reinstall it. Um, I will show you the process of doing that, but it is the exact reverse of uh, what I've just done. Um, I'm going to time lapse the other side of the car, but um, now that you know how to do at least one corner of the car, uh, you can do the other. So, yeah, um, stay forward or look forward to the uh, time lapse. Thanks, guys. Alright guys, so I uh, pulled the fog light back out again and adjusted the bracket, threw it back in and put the bezel back on um, and you can clearly see how bright these things are. Um, I do honestly actually prefer the look of the clear lens on the fog light. Um, it gives a bit more of my OEM Plus look that I've been going for um, and I think it will not attract any unwanted attention in regards to lighting. Um, but hey, you know, if you run out on your car and you haven't had any issues, all power to you. Uh, it's just uh, what I think about them. Anyways, um, I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. I'm just going to time lapse it from one angle. Um, it's a very, very uh, straightforward process to do this. Um, and again, shout out to Diodynamics for making a pretty killer product. Um, it is definitely 
cutting edge in the uh, field of uh, lighting for these cars. So anyways, um, I will keep on with the time lapse and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much. Alrighty guys, uh, just to mention as well, um, I have got stickers made for the car. Um, these are from the renderings that I got done by Oleg on Instagram. So if you do want to uh, support my build um, and wrap the car on your car or your computer, you name it, um, these are going to be for sale for 10 bucks for the two of them. Um, and I will make a better deal um, if they're separate and you just want the side rendering or the three quarter view. Otherwise, um, please hit me up on Instagram at uh, rumble.hatch and you can get in touch with me and uh, I can sell you some of these. So uh, yeah, let me know. Thanks guys.